Alexander Usyk remained undefeated when he comfortably outpointed Anthony Joshua on Saturday night in London. He became only the third man after Evander Holyfield and David Hay to hold titles at both cruiser and heavyweight. Before the fight, Joshua stayed true to form, pitching Usyk as just another opponent and the fight as just another opportunity to go to work. It's not complicated. If you tell me I was fighting King Kong, I'll give it a go. Honestly, um, if you tell, it's, it's an opportunity for me to work. This is my job. I'm just going to work. Um, he's going to work, I'm going to work. Everyone here is at their job. I just, honestly, it's a blessing. This is the best days of my life. The challenger let his suit do the talking looking like he'd dressed in a Joker costume from an off-brand Halloween store. Mutual admiration continued at the weigh-in, where the first question about the fight was answered. Usyk looked to have filled out his cruiserweight frame nicely and weighed in at 221 pounds, a career high. Joshua still clocked in almost 20 pounds heavier, hitting the same 240 mark he registered in his last fight. But side by side, it didn't look like too much of a physical mismatch. The 70,000 fans in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium were treated to a skills fest in the middle of the ring. Usyk took the early running before AJ came back in the middle rounds, but the challenger closed Joshua's right eye late on and began to have it all his way. What went wrong? Just taking a loss, but we'll get it right. Probably in the ninth. From the ninth, I couldn't see in the ninth round. Couldn't see anything, really. <laughs> like, my eye was shut. Joshua looked lucky to make the final bell as Usyk poured on the pressure in the final round, leaving the champ wobbled and leaning on the ropes. All three judges saw it for the Ukrainian technician, with the closest margin being two rounds. The dominant win was undoubtedly the biggest of Usyk's career, but he was dismissive of the level of difficulty. At this point, yes, it was the biggest fight in my career, but it wasn't the hardest one. On the rest of the card, Lawrence Okoli defended his cruiserweight belt with a third-round KO of Dylan Prasevich. And Callum Smith got everyone's attention with a second-round KO of Lennon Castillo. The new champ will have to win his belts a second time, thanks to compulsory rematch clauses, clauses that Usyk was in no rush to think about. I want to live. I want to take home the four belts. I want to take my kids to school. I want to plant trees. I want to water the apple trees. I want to see my wife more often. I've spent three months in preparation camp, so I wish I could spend some more time with my wife. I want to live. <laughs> For the former champion and his promoter, Eddie Hearn, however, the plan was much more clear. Rematch. The only thing in question was the location. I'm just looking to go in there improved, stronger, smarter, and um, yeah, I'll get, I, I believe I'll get a good win in the next fight because of what I learned in this fight. I'm, I'm a quick learner and we'll bounce back. Now, on a serious note, we'll, we'll, we will work together to maximise the revenue. Ukraine, very unlikely, to be honest. I think it'll be international, it'll be in the UK, but I would think it'll be in the UK. So yet again, the fight for an undisputed heavyweight champion is kicked further down the road while AJ takes his second chance. Deontay Wilder knows all about second chances as he tries to take his WBC heavyweight title back from the hands of Tyson Fury. You know, this is a, another part, a second phase of my career. You know, like I said, I had fun in my first, my first, my first album coming out, defending the title, you know, for five years, 10 title defenses. And um, at this point in time, man, we're just, we're serious about everything. I'm super focused. I'm in a happy place and uh, I'm glad that I'm here. Wilder goes into his third meeting with Fury as a heavy underdog after he was overwhelmed in the seventh round the last time out. But Wilder believes his loss has given him the focus to come back harder and match it with one of the most skillful heavyweights in decades. That made me a better person. It strengthened me in so many areas. You know, um, I can say so many different things here, but uh, my action was, my action is going to speak louder than my words can any, any, any given day, any given month, week, year. 
Fury versus Wilder 3 for the remaining heavyweight title and the lineal championship is set to go down at the T-Mobile Arena in Paradise, Nevada this October 9th. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.